Hey guys, welcome to my Etsy channel. This is Nancy from nancybadijo.com and welcome to another Etsy tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to create Etsy Pinterest pins using Canva.com to promote your product and services. Um, if this is your first time visiting my Etsy channel and you are interested in building a thriving Etsy business, or maybe you're thinking of becoming an Etsy seller, this is the channel to be. I upload weekly videos about Etsy and how to build, like I said earlier, a thriving business. So if you're interested, make sure that you go ahead and subscribe um, to my channel so you can stay updated with the most recent videos that I upload. So let's go ahead and get started on this tutorial. So this is my Pinterest account. And I kind of wanted to show you the pins that I create um, for my YouTube channel and also for um, my blog and my Etsy shop. And this is to kind of give you an idea. I use um, Canva, but then I also use Photoshop. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this with Canva.com, which is a free service tool for editing um, graphic um, images and design for social media, for blogging, Pinterest, etc. So we're going to be using Canva. Um, but these are some of the ones that I use. So I wanted to kind of give you an idea. Um, I'm also going to be recommending a website that I absolutely love um, that I get a lot of these free images like these here. Um, I get them from a website called Onsplash. This here, I actually pay for them through a style stock image membership. But you don't necessarily have to pay for images because if you go to unsplash.com, they offer so many free, beautiful images that you will be okay using those. Um, let me show you what I mean. So this is Unsplash. So if you go to unsplash.com, um, all you have to do is pretty much find, look up anything that you need. So let's say you're looking for houses pictures of houses. You type in the word houses and you get all random photos. These are beautiful photos that you could use for personal usage. Um, let's say you want to type in, um, I live in Chicago. So you could type in any city and you get these beautiful images for that particular city. Um, I use a lot of their pink um, because they have a lot of pink colors and pink flowers pink buildings and it's really pretty. So I use a lot of these for my Instagram. I use it for my Pinterest pins and even for my, actually my blog. So they have a lot of beautiful images like these. So it just pretty much depends on what you're looking for. Um, so I'll give you an idea. Let's say I'm going to put in something for my blog. So I want like a computer. Um, I'm going to put blog blogging blog oops i'm gonna type in the word blog so let's say i want to use this photo all i have to do is download the photo it's going to download it to my computer and it's going to tell you crediting isn't required so it's really nice so you drag that photo to your desktop which i had already and then you could use that photo in canva so for Instagram, for Pinterest, I apologize, uh, the dimensions are, the ones that I use are 1,200 by 800. So 800 in width, 1,200 in height. So I type that in. It's going to create this little blank template for me. And let's say I wanted to use this photo, the one that I just downloaded. I just drag it to Canva, and it's going to download the photo. So it didn't download the one because I didn't do the right one. Here you go. So here you go. So here's the photo right here. So let's say you're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do two types of pins. I'm going to show you how to do a regular pin. Uh, maybe you want to use this pin for your blog. And then I'm going to show you how to create a pin using your Pinterest photos that you already took and uploaded in your, I'm um, sorry, in your Etsy photos that you already upload it in your Etsy listings. So we're going to take this photo here 
and I'm going to make it as big as I can to kind of fill up the whole image. So here we go. So I'm going to do it this way. I'm going to center it right there. And this is the quickest way to create a pen without taking so much time. Um, and it's nice. And then you just use the colors of your brand to kind of keep it consistency. So I'm going to go to elements. And what I normally do is I use these little shapers here. And I always stick with the little um, square. So I'm going to pick this one and I'll put it right here. And I'm going to drag it like right there. I'm going to push it a little bit up. And because the picture is more like black, I'm going to change this color to black. And then I'm going to create a little bit of transparency. Perfect. And we're going to name it. So what I normally do, you could pick here from any of these designs um, for fonts. And they have like different fonts. I like just to pick, just do the regular one. Um, but it's up to you though. So I'm going to just put here huh, uh, 10 ways um, to make money using Pinterest. So this is what I'm going to do. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the font to white. And then I'm going to use a thicker um, font. Because if you use the thick ones, those kind of stand out on Pinterest. And that's what you want to do. If you use fonts that are too small or, or hard to read or, or cursive fonts that are hard to read, those make it difficult um, for people to to see what exactly um, your pin is about. So I'm using this one here. Um, it's a little bit right here to the end. So, oh, perfect, right there. So I'm gonna do that. And then what you also wanna do is always brand your pins, um, either with your blog or your XC website. Um, so for this one, I'm just gonna do the blog one so you could kind of have an idea. So I do another blog down here. I changed the color to black because it kind of goes with the actual pin. And then I do the same thing. I add text. I put my blog name, Nancy Adijo, oops, dot com. I change it to white. And then I drag it. If it lets me drag it. Okay, there you go. And kind of stretch it out a little bit. And then I think I want it a little bigger. Stretch it out here. Perfect. So this is one of my pins. So keep in mind that if you have a website that goes with your Etsy shop and you have like jewelry, you could do 10 top trending jewelries for 2019 or 10, 10 top trending earrings for 2019 trending earring styles for 2019 and then what you do is you create the pin like this you put your your website on the bottom and then what you do is you drive traffic from pinterest to your blog now in your blog you have the top 10 earrings right so every earring that you have in there is from your actual store so if somebody clicks on that particular earring or that particular link, it takes them to your store to complete the sale. But the nice thing is that you could drive traffic from your shop, from Pinterest to your blog. You could collect emails and, and create a, a massive email list. And then those people, you could advertise later or do remarketing um, ads to them because they already show interest in your product and services. But this is a quick way to create a pin. One, you don't have to buy an image. You could buy, you could get one for free by simply going here. If you need a, a picture for earrings, then you could just type earrings and you get a whole bunch. Or you could do fashion, right? And then whatever photos you get here, you could use that photo. Like they say, this is like a, a really pretty photo. You could use that photo for your background for your pin. So it's just a nice way to draw to 
to one gate, get photos for free. You don't have to pay for them. And a great way to create a pin to your blog. Now, let's go ahead and do a pin for your um, listings products in your Etsy shop. So I'm going to use my, my shop as an example. So let's say I wanted to create a pin for this. I don't want to pin this directly from my to my Pinterest account because it's not the right size. It's a square. So this is going to get lost in the feed. It's going to be very small. It's not going to stand out. No one's going to want to click on it. So you don't want to do that. What you want to do first is create a pin that you could use for this particular listing. So what I normally do when I create my pins, I drag the photo or the photos that I want to use. So I'm going to use these two photos here. And then I go back to Canva. I drag and drop and then drag and drop. Once I have my photos in there, I grab the photo I want to work with. And this one, I'm going to put it on the top. Boom. And then this one, I'm going to put them on the bottom, on the bottom. Okay. So I'm going to leave a little space here in between these two pictures and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to put the little square, um, right here. And this time I'm going to make it smaller. I'm going to size it here to kind of cover right there and right there. And because the gray is kind of like washing off, I'm going to do, you could do pink. I'm going to do black. Maybe even a dark gray would look nice. I'm going to stick with black for this one. And then I'm going to write the text. I'm going to use regular text here. And I'm going to say, oops, let's make the, the font white so you can see what you're typing. And I'm going to say, pre-made floral logo set of four. And then I'm going to take this and make it a little bit uh, a thicker font. So it could kind of stand out since it's already really small as it is. Put it up here. And then I'm going to make it a little bigger. And let's see. I'm going to remove the set of four. It's kind of taken away from it. So pre-made floral logos. Uh, let's do 42. That looks better. And I'm going to actually let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to capitalize it and then make it a little bit smaller. I think that looks better. Perfect. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my XC shop down here. And you want to do that for branding purposes and also in case someone stole your photo that you're and they didn't like pin it to your because this happens but they didn't pin it to your actual ad um pin that you already had done like the url so just put in your your store name so what i do is i put xe float forward slash well xe.com forward slash nancy marketing tools so xe I don't think it's xc.com. Let me just double check. Let's see. What you okay? So this is what you want to do. Don't do the xc. That um forward slash and then your store name. Copy your store from here. That way it could be exactly how it should be. So that's what I'm gonna do. Boom. I'm gonna delete the first portion of it though. Because then it's too long. And then I'm going to put this more down, if it lets me, right there. So there you go. So this is how I create my pins for my logos. So if you have any pins that you have, like let's say you have digital prints or maybe have posters or maybe you have 
um, different outfits, this is a quick way to do a pin. It's simple. Just drag and drop your photos. Put a little box on top of it. I could also create a, a, a big box just like the other listing like this one and, you know, add more information about what is included. Now, what I recommend is a little bit more time consuming, but it's so worth it. What I recommend is doing um, three different pins for each listing. So you could do one pin like this where you have the little box here. You have pre-made logos and the address and the two photos. And then you could do another pin that you will have. This box will be like, let's say like that, like bigger. And then you could actually put it more in the middle and then make this transparent. And then put the title of this in the actual more like right here. And then make this obviously black so it could stand out. And you could kind of push this down here. So this could be like another one that you could make. Um, obviously, when you do it, make sure that the title actually stands out. That way, you know, people could actually see what you're buying, what you're selling. So if I made it a little bit darker, then the white would look better. And then I will make this a little bit bigger. And then kind of push it up right here. Let's say, let's say you do that one like that. So you could do this. This will be a second pin. And then you do like a third pin. Maybe the third pin, you don't have the black box or maybe you do have it, but you have it down here instead. And you have the text down here instead. And then you have the products a little bit more on the top. These are just ways that you could create additional pins that look a little bit different from each other, but they're all linking to the actual listing. And you can actually change the title. You don't have to have all three pins pre-made pre floral logos. You could just put um, pre-made logos or um, purple pink logo or whatever you want to call it, but you could change it up. And these are ways that you could create beautiful pins that are going to get repinned, are going to get saved, are going to get some traction, like people are going to like it. People are going to um, click to learn more about your product and hopefully buy from you. So I hope that this tutorial um, was helpful in the sense of creating beautiful images for your Pinterest account. Because remember, Pinterest is all about visual. If your pictures do not look good or they don't look nice, people will not pin them. So that's the first step. And secondly, you want to make sure that your pins are vertical that way you get more eyes on your pins. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure that you leave me a comment below with anything that you learned new. Or if you have any tips that maybe I didn't go over or that you know it would be beneficial for other Etsy sellers, make sure that you leave them below in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching.